Okay, we're here at the Pine House Elders Gathering in Pine House, Saskatchewan. And I'm talking to Alfred Bellette, who is from Dillon. And uh, Alfred, uh, I was just wondering if you could just tell me a little bit about why is it important for Dene people to know their own language? Why is that an important thing to learn? Well, you want me to talk in English or in Dene? You can talk in both. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll try English because uh, it's not my language. The reason, the reason why we we get gathering like this, not to lose our culture. Our culture is a main thing. We lost lots already. It's like that sun dances and all dances that we and that drums that there, I never heard one 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 sound of a drum ever since I came here. So you, you know, so we we losing a lot of, of our culture, and uh, our young people they need to learn from the elders how to how to make moose height, how to fish, you know, make make something to eat the next generation, and then we need to pick berries. That's what we had done all all along, and we lost that. So it's very important that we need. To, to get back, if I die, the next generation after, you know, they'll, they'll learn how to uh, how to uh, to survive again. Because I know, because us Indians, we don't have no job and everything, so it's really bad for us, and that's why we're losing our, our ways of doing things. Because. Uh, all we look for survival and that's what that's what we we know is just surviving so we that's why we're losing our culture and everything by by the church and by the governments and everybody so we should be if we were if we were educated by the way we were we would still have that drum and all our culture back and teach our young because to discipline your kids, it's not, it's us that we discipline our kids, not the government or anybody to say this is this way, this way. That's why you see young people are, they're not, they're not educated, they're so suicide and all these kind of things. So a lot of our people are losing out because, and when they, they teach, when they go down south, they're taught, they come back, and then you're no good for nothing because they have nothing to do. There's no job, but they're well educated there. But in, in back here, nothing to do. So, and then the, the, the parents, they're not well educated. So he said, you're no damn good for nothing. So they believe that and that's why people are hurting themselves today, mm -hmm. and, which I think is wrong. And we should be able to, uh, to get our, uh, yeah. to get us to teach our own, our own ways again. That that's what I think we should we should be doing that. Where well, else we're, we're going to lose our Dana, our Dana language? If we lose, we lost everything. So we need to get back and how to make moose height. The woman, we have to teach our young people. The old people are still alive because they can make fur hats and moose height, they cost a lot of money. One moose height is $5,000 and one hat for a muskrat hat is about $80, so we're losing out. So things, you know, so the government should say, okay, go back to your land and, and learn whatever. You know, I hate to say reserve because the reserve, in our own land, they give us a little pat, just like a cattle. I'm, I'm not a cattle. I'm a human, just as good as anybody else. The people that are coming in from different parts of the world. So why, why, why bring in more people? We got lots of people now. They need, they need to get back to what we were. So that's. Any more questions? Um, what do you think? If if we don't. If we don't try and uh, get these young people learning all this stuff, what, what's going to happen to us, Alfred, 20, 30 years from now? What's going to happen to 
Well, the, the northern Cree people and Dene people, all these people, if they don't learn their culture and their language, what's going to happen well, to them? It's, it's up to us to say, okay, we don't want, we don't want, we got lots of resources, we need to get back to the resources that, so that our people, we can get back for another hundred years. But if we don't do that now, 30 years from now will be too damn long and, you know, we'll, we'll lose everything. Mm -hmm. And I hate to see that. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your words today. Well, thank you very much too. And uh, I really wanted to, to see what, what we have to do, you know, for the next two or three days. If we can teach our young people how to, I can see lots now, but as I, as I told you, that uh, the fur had the woman, especially the young people, the, the young girls, they're growing up, all they know is, you know, getting their babies, and I think that's, that's not the way to live. Mm -hmm. We should be, we should be show a married couple or, you know, looking after their own kids. That's what our, that's what we should be looking for. Mm -hmm. If we have any rights to discipline our kids. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you again. Okay. <laughs>